London exhibition at our gallery, and she said yes. <coughs> so she and John worked out all the details, made a plan. We took an ad in the International Times, which was the underground newspaper of the day, that the exhibition was going to open on November 8th. And she came over, you know, a few days before that we closed the gallery to get everything arranged and lit the way she wanted it and so on. And we also, ahead of the opening night, we invited some friends to come and have a look at the exhibition who we thought might like it, um, who, you know, wouldn't want to necessarily be there when all the press were there. So it was a sort of small VIP guest list. And among that list, by this time, we included all the Beatles, who we'd all become friends and friendly with, not just me, but Miles and John as well. So uh, we invited all of the Beatles to the pre-opening event, and one of them came. The <laughs> was having an art show in London at a gallery called Indica Gallery, and I had this was going to be a happening, so I went down the night before the opening. Also, the first thing that was in the gallery, she went in, there was a, a white step ladder and a painting on the ceiling and a spyglass hanging down. I walked up this ladder and I picked up a spyglass, I did and a and a teeny little writing it just said yes. Because it said no or, you know, uh -huh. something, something nasty, like, you know.